Although archaeological artifacts have survived for millennia, ancient Egyptian history continues to confound and captivate our imaginations. The world of mummies and gratifying pyramids thriving in a desert landscape? What's not to love? From the giant pyramids of Giza to ancient temples that dot the landscape, each part of Egypt has its own stories to tell. If you're considering visiting this spellbinding country, here are 10 places you should absolutely add to your itinerary. Let's dive in. Number 10. Red Pyramid The Red Pyramid, also known as the Bent Pyramid, is an ancient Egyptian monument located at Dashur, Egypt. Built in the 26th century BC for Pharaoh Sneferu, it stands more than 300 feet tall and is Egypt's first successful attempt at constructing a proper pyramid shape with smooth walls. The pyramid's name comes from its red hue and strange angled shape, likely due to construction difficulties that caused the builders to adjust their plans mid-construction. Most of Egypt's pyramids were built in stepped form, but this one was designed to be built in the more difficult, smooth-sided fashion. The pyramid houses three chambers cut into its limestone base, two on ground level and one underground. Tourists can climb up a staircase inside and peer through windows set into each chamber's ceiling into a large area where hieroglyphs are still visible along with several interesting artifacts. Number 9. Nile River Cruise A cruise along the Nile River is an unforgettable way to explore the beauty of Egypt. Starting in Cairo, these one-week cruises take tourists on a leisurely journey down the Nile, visiting several historical sites along the way. Marvel at ancient temples, sit in awe of sacred monuments, and enjoy the delicious local cuisine as you slowly float down the river. Depending on the time of year, passengers might spot birds, crocodiles, and other native fauna in their natural habitat. Cruise boats vary from small traditional felucas to larger vessels with luxury amenities, including cabins and lounges. Relaxing on deck allows guests to take in the stunning views of lush green fields of sugarcane and palm trees, and local guides are quick to provide commentary on life along the banks of the life-giving Nile in this otherwise arid desert. This is an excursion to book well in advance as tickets sell out quickly. Number 8. Luxor Temple this ancient archaeological site, situated in Luxor, was built more than 3,400 years ago by the great pharaoh Amenhotep III and was completed by his son Akhenaten. The massive complex contains dozens of chapels and courtyards stacked one atop another and covers close to 50 acres in the area. Visitors can explore 12 columned halls built from limestone blocks that reach up to 40 feet tall and extend from a central court. Statues of gods like Isis, Amun-Ra, and Thoth adorn these structures. These 20-plus-foot tall triumphs still have legible hieroglyphs on them. A grand avenue of sphinxes connects Luxor Temple to Karnak Temple, a stunning show of wealth and power once used as a processional route for the triumphal entries of pharaohs into the city. As you wander through the complex today, you'll be struck by its majestic size and beauty, allowing visitors to step back in time and truly experience ancient Egypt firsthand. Number 7. White Desert, Egypt The White Desert, which stretches for more than 100 square miles, is one of the most unique landscapes on Earth. Vast stretches of white chalk rock formations create an otherworldly atmosphere, one often likened to a moonscape or interplanetary setting. The desert's ethereal beauty was formed from wind erosion over millions of years, which created steeply eroded ridges and sharp-edged hills with beautiful soft curves at the base. The area also contains caves and small oases, providing shelter and sustenance for wildlife, including gazelle, migratory birds, and even wildcats. The White Desert is as striking as it is remote making it an ideal spot for adventurers looking to experience some off-the-beaten-track exploration. Number 6. Abu Simbel Temple This temple is comprised of two temples located in southern Egypt on the banks of Lake Nasser. Built by Pharaoh Ramses II in honor of himself and his queen Nefertari, this ancient site is both stunningly grand and full of cultural significance. 
The main temple at Abu Simbel faces east and consists of four enormous 60-foot statues depicting Ramses in a seated position, with two smaller statues on either side representing his mother Tuya and his wife Nefertari. Passing through a doorway between the statues brings visitors into the sanctuary, where more figures carved into the walls commemorate victories over enemies of ancient Egypt. But perhaps even more impressive than the artistry within is a natural phenomenon known as the Sun Festival, which takes place twice a year on October 22nd and February 22nd. On these days, sunlight enters the inner sanctuary at dawn through an opening in the back wall, perfectly illuminating three statues inside. Number 5. Museum of Egyptian Antiquities this institution is the largest archaeological museum devoted to ancient Egyptian artifacts in the world. It houses a vast collection of ancient treasures and relics from all over the country, making it an essential destination for history buffs who want to peer into the past. The most iconic item in the museum is undoubtedly Tutankhamun's death mask, a pharaoh-worthy golden piece that was discovered in his tomb in 1922. Visitors should also keep an eye out for many historically significant pieces, like Ramses II's granite sarcophagus, Queen Hatshepsut's statue, and revered paintings from tombs inside Christian Coptic churches. The entire ground floor of the museum is dedicated to mummified remains, including those of cats, falcons, and baboons, while upstairs you can explore collections like pottery, tools, and weapons used by ancient Egyptians throughout its 5,000-year history. Number 4. Karnak Temple The Karnak Temple in Egypt is one of the most impressive and iconic ancient sites in the world. Constructed over 2,000 years ago, this sprawling complex is located on the east bank of the River Nile. It consists of a variety of temples, chapels, and other structures, giving visitors an unparalleled insight into ancient Egyptian culture and religious beliefs. The most important building at Karnak Temple is the Great Hypostyle Hall, a spectacular structure made up of 134 enormous columns arranged in 16 rows. Each column is adorned with intricate carvings depicting various gods, pharaohs, and scenes from ancient mythology. Apart from its extraordinary architecture, Karnak Temple also features several significant monuments, such as obelisks dedicated to several generations of Tutmos and the Festival Hall of Tutmos III, which stands as a testament to Pharaoh's dedication to his god, Amun-Ra. The sacred site also contains many smaller areas, like the Sacred Lake, believed to be a critical location for fertility rituals. The Great Cachette, where valuable treasures were hidden for safekeeping during times of trouble, and the Akhmenu Sanctuary dedicated to Pharaoh Ramses II, who built a towering stage nearby so he could observe theatrical performances here. Number 3. Valley of the Kings This archaeological site is teeming with tombs belonging to some of the most powerful pharaohs in ancient Egyptian history. These burial chambers' sheer scale and grandeur are unparalleled, making it required viewing for those making the trek to Egypt. The valley contains more than 60 tombs where royals from the 18th century to the 10th century BC were interred. Most famous of all is Tutankhamun, rediscovered by Howard Carter in 1922. Other notable royal figures include Amenhotep II, Tutmos III, and Ramses VII. The walls and crypts inside these tombs are adorned with highly detailed paintings and hieroglyphics depicting different scenes from religious texts, gods and goddesses, flora and fauna, and other aspects of ancient life. These images have provided critical insights into life in ancient Egypt and help us better understand this industrious and advanced civilization. Explore Tomb 29, the final resting place of Pharaoh Seti I, which includes displays showing how Tomb Raiders plundered much of its contents over the centuries. Or head over to Tomb 55, which is renowned for its colorful ceiling paintings. Number 2. Great Sphinx The Great Sphinx of Giza is an iconic symbol of ancient Egyptian civilization and one of the most famous monuments in the world. 
This ancient limestone statue, located near the Great Pyramid of Giza, was believed to have been constructed over 4,500 years ago during the reign of Pharaoh Khafre. The impressive structure measures more than 200 feet long and 60 feet high, making it the largest monolithic sculpture in the world. It is also adorned with a royal cobra headdress, signifying its power and importance. While hidden chambers inside its body contain artifacts that offer a fascinating insight into what life was like at this time. Historians believe that it was built as a grand monument to immortalize Pharaoh Khafre's reign and achievements, though some speculate that it may actually be much older than first thought, potentially predating even King Khufu, who built the Great Pyramid near which it stands. Though centuries of sandstorms have slowly eroded away its features, time has been relatively kind to this incredible landmark, leaving us with an enduring reminder of ancient Egyptian ingenuity, status, and prestige. Number 1. Pyramids of Giza Withstanding the test of time, the Pyramids of Giza have loomed over Cairo since 2551 BC. The complex of pyramids has been designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site and represents quintessential ancient Egypt. Each pyramid, Khufu, Khafre, and Menkari, was built as a tomb for an influential pharaoh. The most impressive of the group is the Great Pyramid, built by Pharaoh Khufu. It still stands as the tallest surviving human-made structure in ancient history, having retained its height since it was constructed over 4,500 years ago. It is estimated to have taken up to 20 years to build, with 2 million stone blocks, each weighing over 2 tons. Extraordinary when you consider this was done before cranes or other mechanical means existed. Inside, visitors can explore a variety of chambers, including the King's Chamber, where Pharaoh Khufu was interred, and even venture down several corridors where secret hieroglyphics offer further insight into what life was like during this exciting period. Thanks for watching our travel guide for Egypt. To our loyal viewers, thanks again for your support. And for anyone who's new to the channel, we hope to see you again. If you enjoyed today's video, let us know by tapping that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell so you're always the first to know when a new video drops. Until next time, safe travels.